The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, this time tomorrow, folks, we're going to be only have one hour left to go into trading, believe it or not. And boy, it's been one of those days. I post a chart here, hourly chart here of the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average showing you that uh, number up there. You look at that little number in the red box, folks. You see that's the ABCD number? That number is 35801. And you want to guess what the high was in the Dow Jones? 35,802. And we had sell orders in there, but we were doing the S&P at uh, 30, excuse me, at uh, 40. <laughs> try it again, Larry. Uh, 46, uh, 21. And uh, that's been a pretty good run, too. We've got made some profits in it already. But those are the kind of things that we're going to be looking at. Since we've, we've got a very, uh, the turnout's rather small here because we've had uh, quite a few of these. This will be the fifth one, which will probably be my last one, folks. It's time for the old cowboy to take his toys and just do his trading. That's what I'll probably be doing now. No, maybe I'll maybe do another one late in the year, but I frankly doubt it. Even though I enjoy doing it, it's five hours of really intense work. Uh oh, let's rephrase that. It's not work at all. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but but the feedback is what we really like to see, and that's what we want to be looking at. Let's take a look here at uh, something else that we want to be uh, paying attention to for tomorrow. Now, there has to be some new stuff in here, folks, and I do have some new things. One of them that we talk about, you know, when these markets are moving really fast, you've got to find a way to try to get in it. I'm just going to show you something that John Hill told me many years ago. They're called dynamite triangles. I'm going to be going over those uh, with you tomorrow just to show you what it looks like. Just get up here and you'll be able to see it. Uh, basically, what you're looking for is a market that starts down and pauses for a little bit and then starts to move in the direction that you think it's going, which is down. By the way, folks, uh, we've had two major, major failures today. One in Treasury bonds. That has broken down through all support and also the gold market, folks. Yesterday, we hit a perfect ABCD up there at 2010. And uh, believe it or not, uh, it started down and it's already dropped well over $31 uh, from the high. That means that we're probably heading down to that, well, much lower prices. Not Spot gold is r roughly around 1850 But let's take a look at what really happened uh, to the gold market today. This is the kind of thing that we'll be watching for tomorrow because that's what this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be showing you how these how these things work. Let's hear the first one we're going to look at was today's action in the gold market. So we'll get this up here, push this up here, and we'll be able to see it. And there it is uh, right there. Well, it was right there, but I guess it disappeared. Maybe not. I don't know. Yep, it did disappear. So give me one other second here, and I'll get this up here, and we'll take a quick look at it. I wanted to show it to you because there's two things that are necessary to see this thing work and the fact that the markets repeat over and over again and we'll move this over let's try it one more time like if this doesn't work we'll toss it in the bin and not worry about it aha this is it this was the first 382 this came in up you can see here up here at the 1992 level it broke down well over twelve hundred dollars on that move but the important part is is that after the market was moving around today you're going to see the double Oh, seeing the market repeat over and over again. Just a second, Larry. This is it here. There we go. You're going to see the first one and the second one. And now below, but we're below 17, nine, excuse me, 1979 right now. So let's get, that's not the year, folks. That's the price of December gold. Get this up here and show you here. There's where we are. Okay, there was your first 382 retracement early this morning. Okay. You see the second one right here after the report? Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. There's the first one right here. There's the second one right here. And the market is already below this level right here. 
So those are the ones we're going to be trying to look at tomorrow to make money for these things. You know what I mean? You're there to make money. We're going to do in some teaching. We've got a lot of things to cover. I've got three PowerPoint presentations. I have, uh, oh dear, 100 charts uh, on uh, the 382 pattern, uh, power, PowerPoint, of course, on the 135, uh, the Four Traders Handbook, and a whole bunch of other things that I that I think you'll be uh, you'll be really pleased to uh, to have some fun. And we're gonna have we're gonna make some money and have a lot of fun. I do I do enjoy it quite a bit. We go nonstop, folks. Uh, we don't uh, we don't stop when we're doing this. We just get it done and and uh, it goes quickly, like a heartbeat, actually. Now I want to take just a second here to talk to you about the stock that is moving the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average today, and that stock is. Uh, uh, Caterpillar. I want to get this up here because this is this is moving the market. It's actually holding the market up more than you might think because of the fact that we've got this uh, big move occurring here uh, in Caterpillar. It's up about seven percent. It's still hovering right near the highs of the day. This is keeping the Dow Jones Industrial Average E mini up uh, higher. Uh, it's down a little bit or unchanged, you know, roughly. But that's the whole thing right there. Now. You might think that's important, but let me take a let, let me show you the value of why this is important when you're doing these indexes, and we have to talk about that tomorrow because there's a big difference between the Nasdaq, the S&P, the Russell, and the Dow Jones. We need to tell the folks uh, how to you know determine which one you want to trade and why. Look at this opening gap here, folks. You see right before the market opened, the earnings came out. Now, if you belong to the uh, program tomorrow, you'll get this news. The day before it happens, every time the news comes out and has something like that, you're going to get that information directly from me. And if you believe that, you still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge open for you for sale. There's only two left. By the way, there's uh, only a few spots left for the show for tomorrow. I hope you can make it and we'll have a lot of fun. Okay, that's what I wanted to talk to you about because if you're watching what's happening with Caterpillar, it gives you a really strong indication what's happening with the Dow Jones E-mini. The reason why, it's a $280 stock, okay, means that it's heavily price-weighted, not cap-weighted, price-weighted, okay, and even though some of the Dow stocks are down sharply, that has pulled them up and it's kept the Dow being up on the day when everything else is uh, not quite uh, doing that. So main thing to, to, to remember, folks, is that these patterns repeat on all kinds of things, stocks and everything else? But uh, that's what we're going to be what we're going to be watching. But we will be talking about the dynamite triangles. We'll spend a lot of time looking for patterns, and then in between that time, uh, we're going to be doing some teaching, and we're going to go over A, B, C, D, where it came from, why it works, how it works, and some of the you know things that you already know that are in the books. You'll get all the books that you need. You get the the um, uh, trade what you see book, this trading essentials book, and those of you that don't have the Gartley book, uh, that's a $200 book. I have a P P that on PDF file, and I'll be happy to give you that book. But the the real book, it's even though it's 600 and some pages, the best part of that book is from pages 200 to, to 250. That's what we'll be looking at. So we're going to take a break here. 877-927-6648. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. 
Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I wanted to point out to you, this is heating oil, folks. This has been a really wild move today, folks. Uh, that's three cents up, three cents down, and or three, three cents up, 71% uh, retracement, and then another 3% up, uh, sitting right at the FIB number on the long-term weekly charts. But to see a, a big move like that, that's the kind of thing we want to be looking at tomorrow. We'll be looking at 15- and 30-minute charts. What I've done is I want to show you what it's going to be like tomorrow because it's uh, it's quite fun for me to do this, so I think it should be okay. Let's get this up here. And What I've done is i prepared a special um, – a chart package here for what I'm going to be looking at. These are the ones. What is this happening here? Uh, just a second here. This is important, folks. It's my car guy. <laughs> yes, Chief. Okay, I have it open for you. Thanks, Carlos. Bye bye. Today's the day our, our little sweetie gets uh, detailed today. Sorry about it, folks. Let me get this chart up here and show you what we're looking at right here. Uh, hold on. Hopefully this will show up the first time, God willing. We're going to be looking at eight things tomorrow, folks. These are the eight things we're going to be looking at. Soybeans, uh, gold, uh, treasury bonds, uh, crude oil, S&P, Dow Jones E-mini, uh, natural gas. Uh, I can't think of the last one here. Soybeans, too. I think there's eight of them here that we'll be looking. And we might switch around, too, because there's going to be some really smart people attending this that will tell us, hey, take a look at this pattern, which will make my job easier, because what we're trying to do is to find four or five really good patterns on the day that gives us a chance to uh, see the thing work. And that's, uh, that's what it's all about. It does work. It's worked pretty good the other few times, but there's always that situation where you can do everything wrong. And I have those days, believe it or not. But the thing is, you shake it off, you go to the next one, and not worry about what you're going to happen. Let's get back to the failures that we're having today, folks. We've had major failures breaking down in some of these things. It really is. We're going we're gonna to do the big one first, which is the Treasury bonds. I think that's what we're going to be doing first. Uh, yep, that's what we're going to be doing. Get this up here. All righty. Now I'm going to. You're not going to believe this when I put this chart up here. Uh, okay. Okay. Just a second here. We'll get this up here. 
Uh, getting these chart. Okay, this is the Treasury bond market, folks. We were friendly to this yesterday, had a nice profit in it, uh, continued on today, ended up breaking even on this. And then that's why we were, oh, come on. I wish I knew what was wrong with this darn thing because when I put the chart up, it's all ready to go. And when I put it into Discord, it is Discord. I don't know why they ever named that thing Discord because that's not a very good name for a company. Ah, uh, shoot. Forget it. Uh, it's, it's impossible for me to get the darn thing up here. Let me try one other one here. That's yeah, the same thing. Let me get this up here. Maybe this one will work a little better. That's why doing this live makes it a lot better because I can show you live what's happening because this isn't live. This is Memorex. Okay, what happened, folks? We had this rally here. So we, we bought this rally. We got up to here, and now it's broken down below all this support, folks. This is below the 78% level, okay? Well, it, th this chart isn't live because I've already printed it out. Uh, I know I'm live here, Al, but <laughs> we're, we're trading at 122 and change, folks. That's when those dynamite triangles that I pointed out to you earlier when the market's moving strongly in one direction. That's what I. That's what one thing that you got to try to do. That's where Tom Hugard, that's his ball game, folks. When the markets are moving strong in one direction, Tommy Terrific is there. He's playing. So that's what that's what you want to you don't want you can't be like him. He's a one in a million. I mean, I mean one in a million. Well, one in sixty thousand, whatever it is. I've only met a couple people like that in my whole life. Frank Tauscher was one, Jay Cross was one, and also um, uh, Tom Hugard. Uh, Amos Hostetter wasn't that way. You know, he built large positions and kept them for weeks and weeks and weeks, and that that was totally different. But when you're trading live like floor traders did in the bond pit, S&P pit and stuff, those guys are very aggressive. When they see blood in the water, stand aside because they're coming for you, and you don't want to have that happen to stand in front of you. That's not a good thing to have happen. So remember that. That was the one that's uh, broken down badly. But the one even more importantly – from my perspective, is because I'm really friendly to the gold market. Had a great day in it yesterday, pretty good day in it today. But by golly, this thing has just given up the ghost really badly. Let's see if we can get this up here. Oops, it's on the other. It's on my other. Uh, yep, uh, yep. It's under the future section. Hold on one second, because this is really, really important. What happened here uh, in this uh, today? By the way, those of you that bought that Gartley in uh, coffee a few uh, weeks ago oh that thing is smoking uh, so starbucks is on the way again ah uh, i can't find the cut chart on that let me see if i've got it over here this is not good folks when i can't find these charts like this it really bothers me uh, considerably and i think it's uh there it is right here let's get this up here okay now you're going to get up here and you're going to see where we are one second here we broke down below this major major low here that we had there uh, this was the old this was the old august contract ah, ah, not happy wish i could get these charts in. i'm going to find out why this is happening folks it shouldn't happen because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't i'm doing it softly not trying to rush or anything there it is right now. You see, we had this really nice move here. We rallied all the way up here to the 50% uh, retracement of this whole move. That was yesterday at 2010. We're now $30 under it. And uh, you'll see that that's, uh, that's what's happening. Yes, I will get Jacob uh, to help me to do that. So that, those are the two that are my, my perspective have failed. But all this is doing now on a longer term basis, we're just getting ready for another really good buying opportunity down here a little bit lower here, probably about another 30 or $40 lower because we're making ABCDs. This might be one of the one of the trades for tomorrow. But when we look at that, that's what we'll do. In the morning, what I do, I'm up at four in the morning, between four and six, what I'm going to do, be doing is preparing the charts uh, what we're going to be trading for the day. I'm not worried about the teaching part because once we put a trade on, I don't look at that. I move over and I give it to the old uh, let the uh, trading gods do their thing, and that's what I do. So I'm um, letting them do whatever they want to do, and I'll do what I want to do, and then I'll do the teaching in between the time that we put the uh, – 
put the pattern or put the profit on or take the loss and then move on. We usually have between three and five nice trades set up during the day. Occasionally there's a few more, but uh, I, I really like to get people involved in what I really do. See, because when I do this interday, this is what I do each day, folks. I'm looking at 15, 30, one hour charts and, and hourly charts, of course. When I see, anytime I see a major ABCD that gives me some type of an indication, yes, this might work, then I'm going to take it because I know the odds are in my favor. And I mean, in the favor to the, to the tune of about 60%. And you don't get 60% odds in Las Vegas. That's for sure. No question about that one. That's a, that's a really uh, that's a really really important one. All right, we're going to take a little break here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Jim Bartoleone, number 50, from the San Diego area. How are you doing, buddy? I'm great. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, belatedly, but yeah, it was Friday. Hard to believe. I've well, had I so many. Of them. I wanted everybody to know it was your birthday. Yeah, they knew. Uh, oh. I have uh, basically. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if you know this, but I started giving my birthdays away about twelve to thirteen years ago to people that wanted to start drinking a year ahead of time. 
So it's That's... worked out okay for me. <laughs> hey, listen, pal. I've never heard that one, Larry. Yeah, well, I just made it up. Hey, Jim, <laughs> uh, you're talking about this bond market. Man, it's just it's failing big time today. We're down to one yeah, below yeah. one twenty-three. Yeah, no, I put some charts up. Can you guys see them? Or uh, do yep, I... we're you're in charge, buddy. Fire away. You're the leader. All right. Well, of the first pack. off, I, I sent this over to you. I think Thursday or Friday. Boy, here we go again. KBW Banking Index. It's perfect. A, B, C, D, and price and time. You know, the other thing I looked at, Larry, too, was the rallies, you know, back in the October, November, and into early uh, 2023. From a time yeah. perspective, they were exactly the same. Look at that. It's incredible, right? Uh, the yeah, only difference, is. obviously, of the whole correction is that the pullback in between the two legs, the A, B, and the C, D legs, was a little bit longer. But other than that, I mean, banks lead us down, banks lead us up. They've hit some perfect sell patterns. So I'm watching that. Um, I, I, you know, this is the inverse VIX. And I think I sent this over to you yesterday. And honestly, yes, Larry, it had fallen out of my skin until yesterday afternoon. And I just pulled it up. And all of a sudden, I'm like, well, look at that. Here's another beautiful ABCD. We got two extensions. So, boy, that's a great little sell pattern, isn't it? Um, which means what? Which means VIX up. Banks completed a sell pattern, sell pattern, banks down, market down. Look what's happening. It's like, okay. So I think we're at a really important point. Um, the other thing I just wanted to show everybody was this is that same SVXY, but I just did log scale and, and we've done it before, Larry. I, there's a perfect ABCD in percentage terms log scale uh, on a monthly for SVXY. So, I mean, look at this little sell pattern. I'm watching this one like a hawk because uh, – we might have a, either a big pullback or a resumption of, of coming down again. Um, and then this one really, I think, is probably one of the more important ones out there, Larry. We had talked about this one, dollar index, right? But why is it important? Well, if you look at those blue measured moves, right, um, that has been the average correction, gosh, for almost Bart, 14, 15 I got, years. I want to ask you a question, Bart. Uh, two months yeah. ago, but a little about 10 weeks ago, you were on here with the KRE at 382%, the banking index getting ready to take a flying Walinda to the downside. Do you yeah. still have that? Is that chart still posted in there that you can see where you came on? Because you were right on the week that it happened. Yeah. You know, Larry, I'm, I don't know if I have it now. I can send it back to you. But I put the KBW up, the KRE cell pattern, the banking index, right? Um KBW, XLF, and KRE all have perfectly hit ABCD Gartley cell patterns. Wow. <laughs> so uh, I can send that one over to you. I don't have it right now, but I just was like, hey, here's the whole banking index, KBW. Um, it's it's here, so we'll see. And then um, the dollar index, not only did we have the measured move, um, but I'll go back, but you can see I did that. We actually had a butterfly buy. I didn't think it was a three drives to a bottom just because that – Middle drives didn't take out right. the other low. That's correct. So That's correct. We, we had a butterfly buy at a measured move with multiple ratios. Holy smokes. I thought personally uh, that this was a very important level, but I, just the form and balance proportion looked like it wanted to go a little lower. But, man, um, that we could have a massive dollar move going forward, which then yeah. takes me to the, you know, we were, last time I was on, I'm long uh, the yen um, versus the dollar. And I thought that that 144, 145 handle, that was it, right? Mm -hmm. Boy, it sure looks strong, doesn't it? And, you know, we're both really not fundamentalists, yes. but we kind of have a clue. Bank of Japan's yep. up to some some squirrely stuff of lately with their bond programs. Mm -hmm. This is one of the currencies we really got to watch. This is really important. And my real level was that 147, and that was a, you know, 1.618 AB yeah. equals CD right on the 786 from what I think – uh, is a pretty big top up at 151. So look at those candles. I think we're going to blow through there and maybe get up to 147. So we'll see, but I'm going to have to try it again and I'll probably stop myself out of the uh, YCL. I went long YCL because I missed it in the currency market. So this is a huge deal. And then boy, this bond market, Larry, um, here's, here's what I'm looking at. Uh, I did this last night. We still got a little bit of ways to go. I, I really think, um, that let's just call it 100 100 handle on the long bonds uh is a huge deal right and i i mean you count them up i probably have about 10 ratios there why is this important well i think i think you know like i tell people elliot wave it's like my golf game if i come back and immediately say five i got a five but if i turn around and start pointing 
I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. So if I go one or two sub waves low, it's I don't know what I'm talking about, right? This looks like a pretty easy count, quite frankly. And what's that saying? We've started another wave down in bonds, which means rates are going up. And as you can see, I've got some targets in and around that 100 area, which I'll clean up. But I just looked at TBT and TLT, and they've broken out of those support and resistance zones that they've had all of 2023. Yep. So I think it's pretty safe to say that up at about 132 on the long bond, um, that was a, a end of a correction, and, and we got a whole other wave going down in, uh, for bonds. So yeah, I agree sure. with you. It's not looking pretty at all. So anyway, that's what I'm looking at. I think I had one more in there. This is uh, this is really really good stuff. I I, I think. Oh, thanks, Larry. I love being on the show with you. Well, we, we love time. we love having you, especially when they work. Uh, if they don't work, you won't be on the show anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, this show would be this show would be silent every day if that were the that's case. That's right. Part. <laughs> Never hey, have listen, the one thing. Yeah. Think so. When, go ahead. A couple. Ten weeks ago, when you did that thing with the KRE, the three eight two, I mean, yeah. uh, you. Oh dear, just a second. Ah, uh, Bart, you're not going to believe this, but I have to answer this door, otherwise I'm in big trouble. So hold on, just one second. I know okay, exactly baby. who it is. Answer it. Yes, it is exactly him. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Yeah, and I'll look for the KRE while you're gone. Sorry for folks, uh, as, as those of you know, every week a gentleman comes to do my car, and I forgot he was coming today because it's been raining so much, it's the first day we haven't had any rain. Bart, the question that I have for you, uh, you do you follow gold uh, quite uh, quite well because I've looked at your work. Uh, yeah. Does this gold look like we're going to have some support down here, about another $20 lower? I'm looking to buy it, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think this whole gold I'm move is a correction. Um, and we need to be looking to buy a little bit lower. I, I wasn't ready to go at the 382. I just, again, Larry, you taught me, right? You just kind of go with your feeling. You do everything you can do to risk, and you're like, you like this or not? And so I guess I'm being the subjective computer here. I'm going, you know what? I think it's got a little bit lower to go, so I'm waiting. But I do think we need to get long gold for sure. Yeah, I, I, I really like I'll, silver. I'll go ahead and post something. I'll take a look at it. I, I just have been blowing it off. I got a couple of alerts set. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been been really busy, Larry. Too. I, I want to thank you. I'm putting together a. a oh, book. Hey, hey, hey! No, we got to really cover this. Take a break okay. here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Bart's uh, gift to humanity. Okay. We'll be right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm back. Hey, Larry. I know I've asked you this before, but you're going to have to sure. tell the guys at TFNN. I love that intro music you play. Uh, it's that's, so uh, good. Mozart. That's Mozart's wedding theme from um, uh, Trading Places. His did, Fifth did Symphony or something that? like that. It's good. Yeah. Well, I didn't write it. Mozart wrote it when he was five. But, <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Uh, Mark, Mark, tell them what you're going to do with your all the charts and stuff that you've yeah, been working Larry, at for these and, 20 uh, years. I, I hit Larry up. I'm going to ask Larry to write an intro. But um, I'll be actually, happy I'll to meditate. do that. Um, I was meditating, actually. Thank you, Larry. And um, it just came to me. So I don't know if people know, but, um, you know, I was a veteran um, and uh, I started a nonprofit uh, for vets. It's called thesupvets.org. And twice a year, we take about 10 to 15 veterans, um, mostly, you know, uh, combat operators um, down to Mexico for a week of camaraderie. Um, quite frankly, uh, a lot of a lot of cleansing, a lot of healing. Um, and it's all around the modality of the ocean and surfing. And it's a great time. Uh, check out the website. You see the pictures. It's fantastic. And so it just came to me. And I've been asked a bunch. I've been getting emails about training people. And, I, and I've kind of like not wanted to do it, quite frankly. Because uh, I have some of my own goals, but uh, it just came to me and it was like, hey, why don't you put together kind of like a greatest hits for the lack of a better word. I still got to figure out what I'm going to name it and and just show people the power of, of what you taught me and multiple other people and how I kind of go about it. And, you know, it's funny as I'm going through this, I remember I, I trained with Joe DiNapoli. I don't know if you knew that. Way back when. Oh, sure. Fact, yeah, I remember. Yeah, he was well, one of I've, known, I've known Joe 45 years. Joe so, yeah. turned me on to you, actually, Larry. It's yeah. funny how all of us bisons stayed together, right? But he said, are you going to become a boat builder or are you going to be the sailor? And a lot of people who get into this business, there's not many who are both, right? Mm -hmm. Some can do both. It's like Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is not a golf coach. He's the golfer, right? And so as I was going through everything and over the past year or so, um, I'm starting to get a little scary from the perspective of I'm becoming a a, um, a sailor and I've built the boat. And then Mark Douglas, remember Mark, you put me in touch with Mark on his fifth rule, right? It was define your edge and trust it. And so I trust this edge. And so I'm putting together these charts. I swear it's not going to be this long, but I have like 300. I wanted to do 314, but they're just all <laughs> the patterns over time with the geometry. And it's supposed to be a picture book. Um, I'm, I give credit to everyone. I tell everyone to go to you and get your book, <laughs> right? Because I just took it all together. And one of the greatest things, two things you told me, one was I had said, Larry, how much do you have? What's a good month? And you said one cent and I laughed. And you said, you're going to get your ass handed to you. And you were correct. So I learned from that. <laughs> um, and then the second thing was, hey, you, you might have discovered the patterns and published them and everything like that. But they're not going to work for you until you make them your own. Absolutely. Absolutely. you got to do the work now. yourself. It's only taken me over a decade. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, it's taken me it's taken me 59 years, and I'm hopefully this will oh, be the shit, year. Oh, shit, I still got 49 yeah. to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So anyway, um, the reason I'm doing this book is the proceeds are going to fund a retreat, right? Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I figured, hey, here's natural law. Here's here's this has been a spiritual adventure for me, Larry. You yeah, can't know, not. Well, me too. Really see the world as it is if you go into these ratios. That's the bottom line. And so thank you for that. And so I'm like, hey, here they are. Here's a picture book. A lot of people have written a lot about why it works, but here's here's real time, and you know that too. I don't do them like coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? I, I'd say 95% of the charts are as they are happening, right? Mm -hmm. And I just want to show, you project, you extend, you retrace, that's it, mm -hmm. right? And then you let it rip or not. And so um, I figured these charts are pretty powerful. Um, I, it kind of surprised me, right? But I'm transitioning to be a sailor now, not a boat mm -hmm. builder. And so if people buy this, um, I'm going to fund a retreat for, for veterans through, uh, through these charts. So, so that's my goal. And um, thanks for helping. Well, <laughs> well, anything you need, a recommendation, I'll be happy to do it for us. And we'll oh, have you on the guest Thank pretty so soon, much. another yeah. couple of weeks. But we'll sell some books for you to get these things, helping the sailors and stuff. And you, know, you. You, can be a, you can be a great sailor. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> hey, but, yeah, I heard you were. Yeah. Have. Hey, hey, you didn't land in the water one time. That's a good thing as a pilot, right? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Life is good, Larry, right, man. It's all, all right, good. brother. Hey, listen, take it easy, and I'll talk you to bet. you soon. All right, you yeah. bet. Be Jim, good. Bart Leone, folks, at Bart's Charts. We'll keep you updated when this thing comes closer to fruition, and we'll see how uh, things are going to work out here. Uh, and see how these things work. I'll tell you, folks, the one that really surprises me is the crude oil. It's the one market that just keeps keeps trucking along, keeps making, looks like we're within a, just a few ticks of making another higher high. We had that big move in uh, heating oil today, the big ABCD move. And, of course, the heating oil was playing catch up with it. And, of course, so was the, the gasoline. This was taught to us by you-know-who on Tuesday, and that was Mr. Mike Moore of Moore Analytics was kind enough to shed this thing's going higher and by golly it certainly has that's uh, what we have to pay attention to because he's got some great work here and we want to be uh, looking at that whenever he comes as our guest next week uh, excuse me on Thursday uh, the day after uh, we, after we do the trading day on the second we're going to have uh, Mr. Stan Harley uh, as our guest and I'm hopeful Fully having Mr. Peter Elides on Friday. It's a coin toss because he's on vacation. Whether he gets back or not during that time, we will find out whether we can have Peter as our guest. But uh, he will be coming on soon. And, I'll, and, and sometime before the end of the summer, I'm trying to get Larry Williams to come up. But I chat with Larry quite a bit, but his time is pretty valuable because uh, not only does he love to trade, he loves to fish, he loves to hunt, and he loves to travel. So all those things make it pretty good. I wanted to bring this chart up here uh, from the Bart, uh, Jim Bartleone to show you where we've been with this long bond and where we could possibly go with it. He's already shown it to you, but I want to show it to you again because this is a, you know, when they were trying to tell us about negative interest rates, you know, hello, ah, uh, oh, shucks, not again. Same problem. I have to have Mr. Uh, Jacob help me figure out how to do these things and mark it up and hold on one second. We'll get it up here. And uh, finally, there it is. This is the long-term picture. Folks, the, way back in here is when I was at Drexel, you know, when, when the bonds were trading at 56. You can see where we are back in here now. And I don't know if we're going to get down to that level. This where he's marked it off here is parity. And that means if you buy the bond for 100 bucks, you get 5%. Right now, you know, it's 5% bond and you have to pay a premium because it's at, uh, you know, 128 or something like that. Or I, I don't know how the damn thing works, but that's pretty much what you want to be watching too. Also, the, the fact that we've been up so many days in the Dow Jones, 15 out of 16, there is nobody on Bloomberg or anybody. Everybody knows it's a big bull market and any correction should be bought. That's pretty much uh, verified by everybody. So when it's verified by everybody, it's verified by nobody. So all I do is I trade the smaller term patterns and I try to make a little money every day, sometimes a little more than a little, sometimes it's even minus. But we're going to have some fun tomorrow for sure. We got to pay a few bills here. We got another break coming up and then we got our final break. We'll be right back.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I wanted to make an alert here about the gold. Uh, the gold market still has a chance to be bullish. The bonds, big trouble. I mean, they could rally at any time, of course, because they're so oversold. But my goodness, folks, uh, this is really serious what's going on in this bond market. Uh, we've taken out those lows from the last low. And, boy, that sets up a A, B, C, D down there like Bart was showing right about par. <laughs> that, that's a big move. So you want to pay very, very close attention to that because, remember, when these bonds start down and uh, there's nobody to buy them, they're going to they're gonna fall like a safe. And you got to figure out a place to get in it. The best way to do that is by using a dynamite triangle, and that'll be the thing that would really get you moving. The other one is there will be a high somewhere in this crude oil market, somewhere between here and $150, I guess. I might, jokingly, of course, well, it might make $150, I don't know, but somewhere between $182, where we are now, and about $185. We should run into some pretty strong resistance, but uh, this one, I've certainly got this one wrong, and it's gone a lot higher than I thought it was going to go, but I gave up the ghost on it several do several days ago with a small loss, and I'm just waiting to see another pattern evolve, and I haven't had that happen as of yet. There's no clear ABCD staring me in the face here uh, in the crude oil like there was in some of these other markets, and that you want to find the ones that work and the ones that don't work. You get out of the way, and that's really what it's all about. Now, you got one more day to sign up for the class tomorrow, folks. It's going to be a lot of fun, nine hours. Let's try it again. Five hours between nine and two, 
and we're going to do a lot of uh, teaching, and we're going to do some trading, and we're going to have a lot of materials for you. If you want to increase your probability of winning and also hopefully get the thing paid for, $295. We've always made that, and uh, can't make any guarantees. They won't let us do that, but uh, we, we should be we should be okay. We've had a heck of a day today, that's for sure, because we had some really nice moves, especially uh, in the uh, gold and the treasury bonds. 877-927-6648. We'll see you on the flip side on Thursday, folks, and may God bless.